What's going on, people? So, episode two of the Batman Telltale series came out, and if you haven't seen the first episode, I'm sure I'll have a link somewhere if you want to watch it. If not, oh well. It's on YouTube everywhere, but let me go ahead and do episode two and uh, shut up. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. This is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Ah, <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. 
Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's what... Alright, hold up. I need subtitles. <sighs> yes. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. All right, search the alley. I don't see nothing. standing here right now and what would the batman do with his own parents killer the possibilities are frightening i take him to jail just like any other criminal but he's not just any criminal is he he was stabbed to death in prison no one mourns for joe chill bruce Invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. 
Or do I really want to know? Damn, brother. you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh. Well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Now, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. <laughs> Y'all see her face? He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but. He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here.
Okay. Seems like a good place to stop. I'll be doing part two right now. Bye.